हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू बीट ऑक्सीजन अकेडमी आई एम नीलेष वाघेला टूडे वी आर बैक विथ अनदर टूटोरियल इन अवर सी प्लस प्लस प्रोग्रामिंग सीरीज दिस पर्टिक्युलर टूटोरियल कवर्स दी कंसेप्ट ऑफ स्कोप रिजोल्यूशन ऑपरेटर इन सी प्लस प्लस स्कोप रिजोल्यूशन ऑपरेटर इज अ स्पेशल ऑपरेटर विच इज अवेलेबल इन सी प्लस प्लस दिस एंटायर सेशन विल कवर द कंसेप्ट ऑफ स्कोप रिजोल्यूशन ऑपरेटर एज वेल एज वन सी प्लस प्लस प्रोग्राम ऑफ स्कोप रिजोल्यूशन ऑपरेटर If we talk about scope resolution operator, it is basically used to resolve the scope conflicts of data member as well as methods. So now, data members are also known as variables, and methods are also known as user-defined functions. If one has to use scope resolution operator, it can be used by symbol double colon, or you can say colon colon. So this is a particular symbol of scope resolution operator. it is used to access global variables within local scope so if i am in a scope and i want to use variable which is outside the scope it can be used using scope resolution operator similar way it is used to solve the conflicts of function in hybrid inheritance as well as can be used to define functions outside the class so if my class is having a function which is to be defined outside the class it can be used by scope resolution operator as of now we have not jumped into classes and objects so whenever we will start our session with class and object we will see this particular use of scope resolution we are limiting our particular tutorial to variable scope resolution syntax for using scope resolution with a variable is like this and now we will see a simple c++ program where we will use our scope resolution so in this program i have created a global variable as well as local variable and we will access global and local variable within a local scope so as you can see i have included two header files iostream.h and conio.h integer a equals to 128 this is my global variable for main function now i have created integer main and i am having integer a equals to 256 which is a local variable for main so this particular variable will known as local variable for this main function and this particular variable will be global for this main function now if i want to access this it can be straight away accessed by writing only a but if i want to access this variable it can be done by scope resolution upcoming lines are for this particular use over here i have you done local a and print the a so it will go in the local scope and print this particular value as well as when i write global a with a scope resolution it skips the local scope and search in the global scope then after we have got our get ch and return zero if we compile this particular program and run this we will get the output like this now let's see the practical implementation over here i have already created this program one more thing that i have added over here is clear screen to clear the previous output of function we will run this program and as you can see we are getting our expected output so this was it for today's session guys i hope you have already liked this video and keep liking sharing and subscribing to our youtube channel which is beat oxygen academy you can also follow us on our instagram our instagram handler is beat oxygen underscore academy in case of any queries and inquiries you can write an email to us i have already given email in description box this is nilesh wagela from beat oxygen academy thank you